to look at modern medicine and what is really justified that it does and what is not justified that right. it does. Where is the real strength of our modern medicine and where it is not strong? And when we speak about vaccination, it is always very delicate because modern medicine says it's one of the biggest success of modern medicine. Mm -hmm. The chemical medicine, antibiotic, antipyretics, anti, 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 and the vaccination. It says that the overcoming of all the infectious disease, which were a plague until 1900, the overcoming of these infections is thanks to them, mm -hmm. to the antibiotics, to the anti-therapy, and thanks especially to the vaccination. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the statistic and at the charts of the statistic, you see that this is not true. On vaccines or on antibiotics or both? On infectious diseases. Ah. If you take, for instance, tuberculosis, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a chart. If you see the chart like this, and you see here at the top is the moment where the chemical modern medicine started. Mm -hmm. And a little bit later came the vaccine. And you see this graph, you think, wow, this is wonderful. And if you look like this, ah. you see that already the infectious disease were going, were decreasing before they right. started. Right. 4,000 people per million who were sick on tuberculosis would die in the year 1840. And if you see, a hundred years later, 1940, only 500 people were dying of tuberculosis. Right. It's 10%. There are 3,500 people who are not dying of tuberculosis. Right. right. The majority of the drop came before the modern medicine. Do we know what caused it? To 1820 was the Industrial Revolution. Right. And people died of hunger in Europe. Yeah. It started with the weaving and they weaved for their life and right. lost. Right. They really hungered. We started with the machines and we had no social net, which you see already 1850, the state started putting and himself and helping people so that it started stopping. But of course, <clears throat> hunger makes you weak. Yeah. Not only your body, but your whole immune system. Yeah. When was the practice of washing hands introduced? Do you know? That was a little bit later. We didn't know that there were bacteria. We didn't know that there were bacteria until 1880. And you see, already 1880, there were only 2,000 dying, not 4,000 anymore. Right. Already half of it were not dying anymore. And we didn't even know that there exist bacteria. Right. We found, air, first of all, the bacteria against tuberculosis in uh, 1882. It was around here where all the bacteria at all were found. There was not any chemical against bacteria at the time because we didn't know that it was. And this is the period where the washing of the hands started getting important, right. where hygiene started getting important. So you see, it's multifactorial why mm -hmm. the diseases went down. Right. <laughs>